Hello, second graders. This is Ms. Monsevais, and today we're going to be reviewing fractions. Now, if you remember correctly, when it comes to fractions, there are two numbers. There is a top number and there is a bottom number. The bottom number is usually going to tell you how many parts there are all together. And the top number is going to tell you how many parts are shaded in. So here in this circle, we have three parts all together. That's why the number three is at the bottom. And we have one part shaded in. That's why the one is on top. And the way you would write this is as one third. So if your teacher ever asks you to write this, you write it in word form as one third. Now let's look at another example. Here's another example. We have two numbers again. The top number is two and the bottom number is five. The bottom number, remember, it tells us how many parts we have all together. Let's look at this pie. This pie is cut into one, two, three, four, five pieces. So that's why we have the number five on the bottom. We have five pieces all together. And there are two parts that are shaded in. That's why the number two is on top. The top number shows us how many parts are shaded in. Now to write this in word form, we would say that this is two fifths. Now let's practice solving some word problems and let's practice writing fractions in word form. So let's start with this problem. It says, Allie made a pattern for a quilt square. What fraction of the quilt square is shaded? So let's look at our quilt square. Here it is. And we're, remember when we have a fraction, we have a top number and we have a bottom number. The bottom number is going to tell us the total number of parts we have. Okay, I'm just going to write this to remind y'all and the top number is going to tell us how many parts are shaded. So let's start and let's look to see how many total parts we have. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a total of six parts in the quilt square. Now how many parts are shaded? Let's look and see how, at how many parts are shaded. We have one, two, three, four, five. So there are five parts shaded. Now we're going to practice writing this fraction in word form. How would we write this in word form? We're going to start with our top number first, and we're going to write five. Now let's write our bottom number. We're going to write six, but we're going to add T H S at the end. Five, six. That's how many parts of the, of the quilt square is shaded. Now let's look at another example. Let's look at this example. It says, Abel ate three parts of his orange. What part of the orange did he eat? Now remember that we in a fraction we have two numbers, the top and the bottom. So let's look at how many. Remember that the bottom tells us the total parts. And so let's count and see how many total parts the orange was cut in. We have one, two, three, four. So this orange was cut in four total parts. And now our top number tells us how many parts we have shaded, right? And my handwriting is not that great on this, but I'm trying, you guys. Okay, 
So let's count how many parts are shaded. One, two, and three. So we have three shaded parts. Those are the parts that able eight. So this is how we would write the fraction. This is your entire fraction. Now, when we write it in word form, we start with our top number. So we're going to write three, and then we're going with our bottom number. We're going to write the number four, and we're going to add THS. Three fourths is a part of the orange that able eight. So those are some examples. Now it's your turn to practice your task on your learning board. You're going to solve this problem, which says Tony ordered a pizza that had eight slices. He ate two slices. What fraction of the pizza did he eat? Now you're gonna have to write the answer in word form. Just like Ms. Montevias did, you're gonna have to write it, write the numbers out in words. After you do that and you solve it, make sure that you tell your parents to take a picture and send it to your teacher because this task is for a